Hey, welcome to the BS Collectibles Toy Review. I'm Bruce. I'm Steven. Today we have the amazing 112 Collectibles Popeye. Popeye. Arr, give me some spinach. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. So this, this figure is one that super rare. You don't see very much Popeye anywhere more I can't or less the last figure I've even really seen of Popeye I, I think maybe early 90s there was some like cheap Hasbro looking stuff but there's nothing like this I mean this I mean if you're gonna do a figure you might as well do it right yeah I mean this guy the articulation he has real clothes uh, he has several different hats they're all magnetic that's so, cool man. So they just pop on his head any way you want he has pipes he has a Classic spinach. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta say, some just takes me back, man. I, I think Popeye was an inspiration for me to uh, really eat my vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> uh, witnessing Popeye and just getting his butt kicked, turn around, eat a can of spinach, and then just go to town on on, on whoever his opponent was. Yeah. I, I would literally always ask for spinach following that. Yes. Yeah. See, like, I, went, I went the other like way because I tried spinach. Not a big fan when I was a kid. I like it now. I was more of, uh, what was his name, Wimpy? He always had the hamburgers. <laughs> you know what? I gotta <laughs> say, those cheeseburgers look good. Yeah. <laughs> He's always walking around with a big plate of cheeseburgers. Yeah. That was another thing. I always wanted hamburgers after Popeye, too. Yeah. I guess you had to counteract the cheeseburgers with, yeah. uh, with a little spinach. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, he is in his original... Um, Comic book. Yeah, this is kind of, yeah. Really, usually the cartoon he was in the white. This mm -hmm. is his actual sailor outfit. And you can get him in the white. It's going to be a Mesco exclusive, but on this particular Mesco, it's yeah. just your your classic uh, your classic comic book uh, outfit. Yeah, and I'm going to cover it in the uh, the hands on review, but he has a kind of like skin dimpling of the mm -hmm. color, so. It, realistic looking skin even the tattoos are kind of that faded like a tattoo i mean and you looks real you can definitely tell with somebody somebody of his stature uh given the the profession he's in probably spends a lot of time outside being a sailor man so in the face you can really see a lot of these details like in his wrinkles and in there it kind of gives it like a dirty uh kind of dirty look because he i mean he spends let's let's be real he spends a lot of time outside and uh, he's kind of grimy, you know, and right here you can kind of see the shaded area uh, for his arm hair, which is really cool. So you can yeah. definitely tell that Mesco spent a lot of time. A lot of detail. A lot of detail, a lot of detail there. Yeah. I got to say, his tattoo on his <clears throat> arm really stands out, too. Um, it's always one of the, the key traits of Popeye, that anchor tattoo on his forearm. Um, great job. Great job making it look realistic like yeah, an actual this tattoo. Is, um, this is our third fourth mezco review we've done now and they're all amazing mm -hmm. but i don't know if it's just because of the nostalgia of popeye but i really think this might be the one they they hit a home run mm -hmm. with this guy like the details just are amazing on him well i know that this has been one of the the more requested uh figures that i've seen yeah. in 2000 do you uh do you have any inside information on are they going to follow up with the popeye line are we going to get a bluto uh olive oil i haven't heard anything and i know um like this year at toy fair um i didn't see anything like, yeah, i haven't i haven't either. Gearing towards any other characters in the popeye line. i know this was one of their fastest selling um figures that they came out gone with man it was totally unexpected i know popeye you know is 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 not really a, a highly made figure so i think a lot of people getting that uh figure in and just seeing the amazing detail on it, it it was really a home run you know coming in store i mean this was one of the figures that people were calling and calling and requesting it was definitely a, a highly sought out figure Steven's got one for self. You guys act fast. One last, <laughs> last, last one. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we have the box. Uh, good cartoon rendition of Popeye there on the front. Move around to the side. You have a good. I have an anchor. Uh, you see the one twelve pose play display. Here on the back, you have a lot of images of everything that's in the box. Cool Popeye pose, you see the hands, the bag, 
uh, some product images here. Uh, it does come with six pipes. You have three that are with effects, three without. We have a spyglass, compass, spinach. Looks awesome. And then on the other side is another anchor. Let's get this bad boy open, see what's inside. Slide this off, and he is in a clamshell. Unlike some of the other Mezcos, he's not in a aluminum tin, but that's okay. Got the 112, got their little uh, creature mascot here. I can't remember his name. Flip it around. You can kind of see him in there. He's well protected, even though it's not the aluminum can. Slide him right out. All right, crack this open. All right, zoom in here so you guys can get a good look at him. Uh, as we talked about in the opening, you can kind of see the skin tone there on him. Um, nice weathering effect. He has dirty fingernails, a little bit of stubble on his chin. So I can get you close. Yeah, there you go. See the stubble on his chin. He's got his classic pop eye, the one eye. Uh, you do see the hole there. That'll be for his pipe. He's got a lot of grime on him and wear. He is a sailor, been outside, been out on the ocean. Nice long neck. <laughs> you look at his tattoo there. Really amazing character. He's got some blue jeans. Uh, nice metal buttons. They do all open up if you really wanted to play dress up. I'm not into that. Shoes are weathered. Get a good look at them there. Uh, he does have a little flat back here, sailor outfit. Yeah, look at this. They even sculpted in a six pack. Spinach pays off there, Popeye. Let's set this guy over here and start taking a gander at some of these accessories. First accessory uh, be the spyglass here. Let me get it out of the box. There we go. It zooms in a little bit here. It's got a nice brass look, has a little glass piece inside. You know, it is what it is. And let's see, get the compass here. I actually called it a pocket watch earlier, but it actually is a compass. If I bring it in close, you can see the, oh, where is it at? There you go. You can see the directions there, the cardinal directions. It does close up. I wish it had a chain or a little pocket that it would fit in, but it is pretty cool. And to his spinach. This is the uh, unopened can here. One of the things I really like is they went to the went to the extra mile and added detail. It's a little grimy. It's been on a ship, I'm assuming. You see how it's kind of rusted on the bottom there. Really amazing detail that Mezco puts into these guys. And here's his crushed can as the spinach is coming out. It is molded to fit in his hand perfectly, and I like the rust effects on it as well. And I do have his hand that's designed for it here. And you can see he holds it really well. No problem at all. Getting posed up like he's eating his spinach. Popeye does come with his pipes. I know in the uh, cartoon as well as the... Uh, Robin Williams movie, he was known to have his pipe. He was always tooting on. Get one of them out here. This is the one that has a little effect piece. Get it to where you guys can focus. There we go. It's a beautiful effect piece. I really like that. And it'll just pop right in. Pop, huh? pop eye. Into the little hole in his cheek there. Perfect. That just looks amazing. And Popeye does come with several different hands. I like that they really went and, you know, grimed up these hands. They all look grimy and weathered. Nice skin tone on them. 
Uh, you have a relaxed hand. You have one hand for pop pointing. I think this might be for a pipe also. He could hold the pipe. Popeye does come with several hats. He has a little beanie here that just pops on. Uh, he does come with uh, his little sailor hat. One of the cool features here is the sailor hat has a magnet in it. Kind of see it there. There we go. There's a little square magnet there. And uh, you can just put it on Popeye's head and it'll sit any which way you put it. Really clever trick that they did with that. Uh, he does come with a captain's hat. I'm assuming that's what that's called. I'm not a sailor. Looks really good. This is the way I would display him with this hat. You have it sit back again with the magnet. You can pretty much put it anywhere on his head and it's not going to fall off. Um, oh, let's pull this out and show you guys. He does come with an extra head that has uh, pretty much the only difference is he has his teeth grinning to hold the pipe. You see his teeth there. Uh, he does come with a stand with the little anchor. Uh, comes with a peg there that uh, he has a hole in his feet. You can just stand him on right there. The peg does come out and it does have the uh, Mezco stand, but he's not really going to take a flight pose, so this is the way I would go. And he stands just fine. All right, let's look at some articulation on this guy. Can move his arm up about this far, which is pretty good. I don't know why you'd want to go any further. You can actually do a 360, which is impressive. Um, you just have to move the clothing around a little bit to keep it from getting binded. He has a twist in the forearm. Um, not much elbow bend. That's pretty much all you get. Does have great wrist articulation, though, so you can twist it, move it. Pretty much any direction you want. You can see though where I talked about the skin tone is two different colors. I wish that would have been different. Head, he can look down pretty far. Really good up. I don't know what he's looking at, but that big long neck. Get the exorcist going here. Uh, the neck does have a little bit of articulation within it. Ab crunch. Really good ab crunch. And he can get leaned back. Amazing. Uh, legs, not a whole lot. He can't do the splits. Uh, one of the issues I had is this one foot, it's on a ball peg and it does seem to pop out a little bit. Uh, go back into the splits. Does have a deep knee bend, which is really good. You can get some good poses with that. Get a good view of those shoes. I like those boots. Um, Talking about the boots and the ankle, he does have a twist. Uh, not much of a rocker on it. Um, can get a little bit up, a little bit down, but side to side, not really anything. That'll take care of the articulation. All right, Stephen, now that we've had this in hand, what you, what's some thoughts on it? Uh, some pros. Some pros, man. Uh, it comes with a lot of a bag of accessories. Literally, it comes, Literally with, his a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with his duffel bag, which is cool. Uh, I, I do want to note that it does come with uh, with his Popeye overcoat too. Um, comes with uh, three different hand swaps. Also comes with a specific hand used just for uh, holding his his Popeye pipe. Yeah. Um, comes with the spinach. Comes with the pipe. Really cool stand with the uh, Popeye, uh, the infamous Popeye tattoo anchor. Um, traditional for Mezco's, always coming with their stands. Uh, I gotta say, this one really comes in um, on top for me, man. I, I, I love the detail, the magnetic head for his hat. <laughs> that is pretty cool with the hats. Really cool, dude. That, that was ingenious, but the... And I will yeah. say, I will say one of the things that I do like, you know, especially like with Mezco's is their, their, their joints feel great. You don't ever get the uh, insecurities of feeling like um, it's ever going to pop out or struggling with the joints coming in and coming out. I know that uh, some of the other 112 lines, um, you know, sometimes they have issues with the joints. And uh, let me tell you, that's just not something that you really, uh, that you really have to go through with Mezco. Yeah. 
Um, I know I usually do all the negatives. There's not a lot of negatives with this guy. Uh, one nitpick is if you if you really get close, and I detail this in the review, his uh, wrist joints. I wish they would have. Um, I talked about the speckling of, of to make the skin realistic, and if you look at the wrist joint there, Stephen. Yeah, it stands out. It, it stands. I wish they would have put that speckling on the on the wrist joint. It's like That's, two colors of flesh tone. Yeah, I mean you can you can get it posed where it's not so noticeable, but that is one small thing. Um, another thing I noticed is um, he's really weathered his hat, his clothes. His clothes are pristine and clean, and it's like, eh, I wish they would have been a little grimier, I guess, to go with everything else. Really, those are the only nitpicky things I could come up with. I mean, he comes with two heads, he comes with three different hats, six pipes with the effect, the smoke effect. I mean, for the price and the amount of everything that they included with this, I really, I'm really happy with it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, that was my Popeye impression. I think this, if you're even a Popeye fan at all, you definitely need to pick this guy up. Yeah, that one, this figure in my eyes, great. Um, you can always get the Mesco uh, 112 exclusive, which comes with, it's basically this exact Popeye uh, with his white attire. So yeah, his white uh, cartoon accurate. Either of the two are going to set you in the right. Uh, in the right direction, especially if you're a Popeye collector, if you're just looking for something uh, nostalgic from your childhood, um, I definitely say keep in tune. This figure did so well for Mezco, it would not surprise me to, to possibly see some of the other uh, figures like Pluto or, uh, yeah. or some of the other. I, I feel like they Popeye. would at least do Pluto and Olive. Yeah, well, I agree. I agree. And I feel like with the success of this one, it's probably in the works yeah i think i think they kind of threw this out there just to see what would happen and then and go from there <laughs>